Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a wonderful guest in studio. It's Stephanie Jones Costellic, and she's from Friedrich Jones Funeral Home and Cremation Services. Stephanie, welcome. Thank you for having me, Liz. Tell me a little bit about Friedrich Jones. Uh, Friedrich Jones Funeral Home is our family owned and operated business in downtown Naperville. Uh, we've been uh, there since 1918. Wow. So 1918, we're 2018 now, so that means a 100 year anniversary. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, we're looking forward to this year to try to do a few special things to celebrate our 100 years of service to the community. That's wonderful. Now, your dad has been a big part of that for a long time. Yes. But not 100 years, because your dad no. still is, is Ray Jones and, and seen throughout the community and still works as a family owned business. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, uh, my, my dad has been with the business since 1968, starting as an apprentice, and then uh, in, is, has been the owner of the business since 1976. And my brother and I joined him um, in the early, early to mid-90s, and so the three of us are now you know, owning and operating the business together. Wow, that's yeah. terrific. Mm -hmm. Most of us um, come to you at a very difficult time. You mm -hmm. have a difficult job, Stephanie. Thank you for, what, for doing it, because you, mm -hmm. you bring such comfort. But tell us a little bit about what what we should know about a funeral home that mm -hmm. we don't know. Sure, um, you know, I think f most folks are surprised that, I mean, we are in operation seven days a week, 24 hours a day, um, especially, you know, at our particular funeral home where we don't have answering service or voicemail. We're fielding all the calls from families or hospice nurses or hospitals at a difficult time, whether that be midnight or three in the morning, and they have that personalized touch or they can get information that they need, and you know, we can start with that family right away um, in connection uh, to help them. So. Right, because it never comes in a convenient time between nine and five. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, and, and, and having been um, a customer of Friedrich Jones, mm -hmm. or I, I kind of yeah. like to think of myself as now part of the family. Yes. It is comforting to call and, mm -hmm. and, and, and talk with somebody at 10.30 on a Sunday night sure. um, and have that person know what to do because I didn't know what to mm -hmm. do. And, and talk to me a little bit about it's a home, and that's one of the things I really liked about it. It mm -hmm. was like going to somebody's home. Yes. Um, so we're on Mill Street in a historic neighborhood in downtown Naperville. The funeral home is an extension from the family homes where folks used to have their visitations or wakes within their own living room or parlor, as it mm -hmm. was called. And when things transition to folks coming outside of their, their personal residence to a funeral home, the idea was to extend that home-like feel, mm -hmm. to invite family and be able to gather as if you were in a personal residence. And our location there really allows that extension. You know, we try to celebrate the holidays by having, whether it be Christmas decorations up or beautiful spring flowers when, when the spring season hits. And again, just to create that comfort and home-like feel. It is. It's up on Mill, and I, you know, when you drive by it, it's always, it's always whether it has flowers or the flag is out. Yes. It's welcoming. It's it's as though it's part of the neighborhood, and you mm -hmm. and you drive by wondering, well, who's in that home? And yes. the answer is, Friedrich Jones is in that that home. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about um, you customize for mm -hmm. a funeral home, a funeral, um, whether it be. Sure pictures or video why is that important mm -hmm. why do we need to do that you know what um, we just really feel like each life um, is special and individual in its own way mm -hmm. um, everyone is different in their interests whether that be a, you know a golfer or perhaps a musician different religious backgrounds so we want their funeral to be really in essence a celebration of life and we use the word celebration not to underscore the fact that folks are sad and are suffering a loss but the fact that this person has lived for whatever amount of years has made a difference in a number of different capacities and lives and want to address in all those areas to the degree that the family feels comfortable doing that. Well, and I, I think in, in celebration, I, I do think it is a life that it has been it has lived, sure. so we're celebrating. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like the picture boards uh, because right. it gives people who are coming a chance to see your family or mm -hmm. you through the ages, sure. uh, and, and then they have something to talk about amongst themselves. Sure. Or, or with, with you when, when you're up there talking to them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a lovely... Brings people to, at ease. Yeah. You know, we tell folks that, the, you know, when they come in and they have their chapel, it's their own. It's an extension of their mm -hmm. living room or family room. They can bring in any pieces that they want to make them feel at home. We have folks that bring in quilts if their mom was a quilter and we display those. Or, you know, dad was a golfer in his golf bag. And the more things they have surrounding them of that person, the better their experience is and the experience of their guests as far as it being warm and individualized. Right. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about... Um, 
pre-planning. I think mm -hmm. people sure. don't understand what that means. Sure. Uh, uh, pre-planning allows um, either individuals to come in for themselves and make uh, their final wishes known, or sometimes a loved one like a child coming in for maybe a parent or a spouse coming in uh, for a, a, perhaps a, a spouse that might be imminent. Um, but it's really to gather the information that will be necessary at the time of need to fulfill documents such as the death certificate, whether it be burial permits or cremation authorizations. It allows them to make selection of services and the related merchandise that goes with and to provide any kind of key points like songs that they want played, what they want to be dressed in. I had a very unique experience with a lady who came in with her clothes in advance and probably um, called me three or four times to say, not the brown sweater, the red sweater, or so mm -hmm. on, because she was undecided, but it, I think it gave her a lot of comfort just to even be involved at that level, because that particular person was in a state of illness. So mm -hmm. it was a little bit of control at a time that she didn't have it, no, and I think we dialogued quite a bit. Yeah. You. At Friedrich Jones, I think you do a really nice job of, of okay. aftercare. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Tell me about that. You have two sure. neat programs. Yeah, well, you know, this year in our Naperville facility, we did our 20th anniversary luminary program where we invite all the folks back from the year before. Uh, we do this year round. We make the bags for the loved ones that we've served and have their names on it. We will go back in time if we have served a spouse and, and do a bag for the spouse too so that they can honor them both together. Um, we offer also the opportunity for the community at large if they'd like to have us do a bag for their loved one that they can participate too. But they line the funeral home, folks decorate the bags and special stickers or poems, bring flowers. Um, we have an open house for uh, fellowship with you know just sweets and coffee and, mm -hmm. and so on. And then we do a, a really nice service. We, we change the um, officiant each year. Uh, representing different denominations of churches sure. and faiths. And then we also do a beautiful tribute to the veterans. Um, we play taps. And this year, the Naperville Memorial Honor Squad came and did um, the gun salute. It was uh, absolutely wonderful. They had a, like an ovation from all of our guests because it was just really special to have them there as volunteers. So we're lucky as a community. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so we have the, the Naperville one on Mill, and then you also have a facility in Plainfield. Mm -hmm. Tell me a, a little bit about that one. Sure. Um, our Overman Jones location is in downtown Plainfield on the corner of Route 59 and Route 30. Um, it is also, even though it's a newer facility by design, it's made to look like a home. Mm -hmm. It's like a French country estate there. Um, beautiful. Uh, we have the same service there, our same staff. Uh, as we do in our philosophy in Naperville, which is you know, just to be warm, to be caring, offer all the same elements from the video screens, um, the uh, uh, boards, as you mentioned, music. So it's simply a, 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 an opportunity for if, you know, South Naperville to go to a, a, a southern location if that benefits them, or our, you know, certainly our Plainfield, Crest Hill, uh, some of northern side of Joliet um, to serve those folks as well. Stephanie, thanks so much for stopping by and sharing thank a little you. bit about what you do, and thank you for what you do. It's a difficult job, and, and we appreciate the care and kindness that you give. Thank you. It was an honor to be here with you, Liz. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. We're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.